So today we're going to be building a video editor. A little disclaimer, it's not going to be the greatest editor on earth. It's going to be pretty slow. So what are we going to be using to build this editor? We're going to be using FFM pack and we're going to be using GIMP. So if you haven't seen my GIMP videos, I will leave them linked down below so you can get an overview on how to use GIMP since that is what we're going to be using to actually modify the frames. And we're going to be using FFM pack to split the frames into images so we can edit them and then to combine them back and add the audio to the video. So let's get to the code. So the first thing we're doing is that we're importing GIMP FS extras because we're working with asynchronous code. And then we are importing some stuff so we can run console commands because FFM pack is a command line tool. By the way, if you don't know what FFM pack is, I will leave a link down below on how to install it and get started with that. But essentially what it is, it's a command line tool and we wanna be able to run commands inside node. And that is why we're importing this dependency here, both this one and this one. And then we're just defining a few properties and you can see here, there's a few options here and there's a debug and I will get to that one later. And then we have the input file and the output file. Then we have an instantly instantiated function because we're working with asynchronous code. Then we wrap our code in a try catch block. So if we encounter an error, then we can show it nicely to the user. And we will also delete the temporary folder if debug is set to true. So in debug mode, it is not gonna delete the temporary files on crash. And that could be useful if you wanna debug if something went wrong. And the next code here is just initializing the temporary files. So we are making a folder called temp. And in that folder, we're making a folder called raw frames and edited frames. Then we want to decode the video. So what this command will do is that it will take all of the frames in the video and convert them to images labeled number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. The next part here is the rendering part. So that is where we are loading the frame, modifying it and saving it. So later I will show you this command here, which is on frame. And that is where we are modifying the images. But essentially what we're doing is that we are loading all of the files from the raw frames folder and we're looping through them, loading them, modifying them, and then saving them to edited frames. The next command here is then taking all of those edited frames and converting them back into a video. Then we are adding the audio to the video. So we are grabbing the audio from the original clip and adding it to the final output. And then we are deleting the temporary folder. And the last function here is really up to you. So you could do whatever you want in here. So this is where Jim comes into it. So if you don't know Jim, please check out my videos on that. But essentially we're taking the first five frames, making them red, and then we are adding the frame count to the video. And then down here, we're just manipulating the pixels a bit. And you can see that in the video, what this effect does. And then we're just returning the frame. So let's try running the editor. Now this part I will speed up because it's pretty slow and I don't want to make you guys wait. All right, so we are done. So if you look down at the corner at the time, you can see roughly how long that took. I believe it took around two minutes. But let's check out our original video and then the edited video. This is just a short test to check if our video editor works. All right, so that's the original clip. So let me show you the, the edited one. This is just a short test to check if our video editor works. So if I just jump here and hit pause, you can actually see the frame count up here and you can see that we're modifying the pixels here to be blue. Now you could have done whatever you wanted, whatever you can do in GIMP, you could have done to this video. It's just a bunch of images and we're just modifying those images and then we're just combining them together to a video. Now this might be a very simple program, but I trust you, if you go ahead and download this down below and play around with it, you can spend countless hours on playing around with this program. I think I've spent the last three hours of just playing around with this code here. It is really cool to be able to edit a video programmatically. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.